So once you've constructed your plate, we need to seal it. And we seal it because if we were to put ink over it right now, um, you'd get an impression or two, but eventually um, the ink would be absorbed into the paper and whatever it is you're using on here and it would expand and basically it would disintegrate pretty quickly. So I wanna keep my test plate here. So I am going to mix up a combination of some kind of matte medium. There's a lot of different kinds out there. It could be gloss medium, matte medium, thick, thin, um, different brand names, whatever works for you or whatever you're able to get your hands on. This one looks like it's a pretty thin consistency, which is great. So I don't have to water it down as much, but let's see, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna put a little bit of this matte medium in there. So my plate isn't huge, I don't need a lot. Um, if I were to paint this directly on my plate, it would be too thick. And what would happen is when it dried and when you rolled ink over it to print it, you would see a lot of the brush strokes that's caused by the matte medium. So the reason I'm watering it down is because I want the textures to come through that I created on my plate. I don't want the texture from the matte medium. So I am looking for a uh, kind of cream consistency. Um, I haven't, I've watered it down various consistencies to see how durable it can make it. Um, you know, you don't want to water it down so much that there's barely any medium in it, but you can water it down a good amount. But generally what I tell people is you're looking for kind of like heavy whipping cream. That would be kind of an accurate assessment of the the um the dilution okay so once you have that done you just want to make sure that you push the matte medium into all the grooves and all the textures that you created remember the point here is that we want this to stay on our plate if it doesn't it's really or if we don't seal it well enough or we don't glue it well enough what happens is that the roller can catch whatever it is, whatever material or texture you're using and pull it up fairly easily. Be really mindful of areas like this that are recessed and underneath the surface. It's very easy to overlook those. And make sure things like glue, which is on these areas here, are completely dry because when you run a brush over them, they very much will go away if they are not dry. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's gotten to all my little grooves, all my little textures. Now, if you want to keep this plate again, I would recommend after this dries to put a coat of this stuff on the back. And sometimes I just do the edges because if I'm you know, relief rolling ink over the surface of this. Usually it's my edges that kind of get, get a little bit of a beating. So this kind of helps to make sure that my plates are able to be really reused. Now, if I'm working on something that's not a test plate, I would probably seal the whole back so that um, I know that there's gonna be longevity when it comes to my plate. So once it's dry or once you have it coated, Prop it up on something, let it dry, um, check on it if you need to. Um, just a little note about using the brush with this. Um, it is matte medium, and if it dries in there, it's gonna ruin your brush, so make sure you get some soapy water um, and wash it out really good. Eventually, I will take this to the sink and give it an extra good um, washout, but right now, I just don't want it to dry out, so. All right.